Yo, what's up, guys? My name's Pone Star for Hire. In case you guys are new here, and uh, I'm sure the com, you know, the whole title of this video is a little misleading. You know what? I'm gonna give you a giveaway, the most epic giveaway ever. It's gonna be the giveaway of knowledge. You guys get to learn the truth behind giveaways and why some of these YouTube people do what they do. Now, you guys might think this is a rant, but let's get this clear right off the bat. I am not jealous of some of these guys' success. I am glad they've done things. I am proud of the guys that have actually earned where they've been because I myself completely believe in earning what you get. I don't like knowing that I got some get got somewhere by manipulating the system. Now basically let's crack into this. You know, I remember the days a long time ago where people used to hate on dual commentaries because they were a way to gain subscribers. But at the same time the reason why I supported them is because there was no negative turn out of that. People subscribed if they wanted to subscribe, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I didn't see anything hurting anybody else. Now initially you know, lately, over the last few months, there have been people doing things with what they call false categorization. Now, people have broken down on this, and we've been told we can't do it anymore, but I feel you guys deserve to know this. And many people overlook this and are unaware of many of these facts that I'm about to give you guys. Um, and the reason being is because they're hard to notice, and, and many of you guys just trust these commentators. You guys trust them. You guys will listen to almost anything they say, and, and you have a reason to do so. They've never given you a reason not to. So what you guys don't know is some people used to false categorize videos. By that, they mean they would say, I'd put up a Call of Duty best epic kill cam ever, and I'd put it in the animals and pets category. Now, let's be clear. The only reason people do, well, I, this is almost always the only reason why they do it. With the stipulations I mentioned, the only reason people do giveaways for favorites and the only reason why people do false categorization is because they want more exposure and more money. Now, despite that being a brilliant idea, it's a great idea, make more money and more subs and more views, exposure, great idea, get it done quicker, right? It doesn't mean it's right, though. It is wrong. It's manipulating, and it's cheating. It's cheap. So if you know anybody that has ever false categorized a video, you know their intentions. Their intentions were to make more money and get exposure quicker. They manipulated to get where they wanted, and, and, and it's just embarrassment to me because I'd never, ever do anything wrong to get where I wanted, and if I did, I'd make it known, and I'd apologize for it. Some of these guys just shrug it off like it never happened, or it's not a big deal. False categorizing videos is basically taking a video claiming it's something else. Now, the reason why they did this is to hope they made front page. You make home uh, make the home page, you're going to go ahead and make more views on it. More views ex it explains why you get more subscribers at a quicker at a quicker pace. You get more views and in turn more money. We are paid on views. Now, it is a blessing. It is a blessing that we could do something so simple as make YouTube videos and make money off of it. Some of these guys live off of this, make really good living off of this, like really good living. And it's, it's sad that we will jeopardize and, and manipulate and take advantage of what we've been given just to get there quicker. And that just shows how selfish some of these guys can be. So if you guys have seen people that put stuff in animals and pets and stuff like that, it's because they're trying to get there quicker. They're trying to be cheap. And it really, really bothers me that these guys have not been punished for it. They've they've been warned and et cetera, et cetera. There, there needs to, and the reason I'm making this video is to let you guys know, to let you guys know that that people do this and why they do it. The main reason why people do these things are to make more money. And obviously more subs turns into more money. That's more views over time, et cetera, et cetera. That's why people do this. Now, I have no issue with people making money off this. I do have an issue with people lying about it, trying to be sneaky about it, and not letting you guys know about it. Now, if somebody was to come out, man, I make a living off of doing YouTube. Uh, I'm doing this giveaway. I'm putting, I'm buying $1,000 in items, but it, with these videos, I'm, I'm giving these away. I'm going to make $10,000 back. If they did that, I'd respect that because they're honest about it. They're not hiding the real reason, the real intentions behind it. So that's what happens, guys. Now, giveaways, for example, people will enter and, and, and host these giveaways for you guys. Now, you guys have this impression in your mind, and you have no reason to not believe it, that they're trying to be nice to you guys, to give back to you guys, as a thank you to you guys for doing all that you've done for them. Real reason is money. That's why they do this. Uh, every giveaway that you've seen lately, they're, they're buying these items. That's a shame that somebody could spend $20 on a PSN card and make two grand off that video. I mean, I, I, this these are just numbers, but no, they make a lot more money off of what they're putting in, and and they aren't letting you guys know this. There was one guy that that mentioned that he made more money than what he put in, and that guy is the one guy that I respect because he, I think he was actually doing this giveaway to be sincere. He was wanting to give back, got caught in an issue, uh, and obviously the favorites make a difference because if you get top favorited video, you make the homepage, you're getting lots and lots of views off that, lots and lots of more money, and a lot quicker chunk of you know subscribers. Now, what's the point in getting somewhere if you didn't earn it? Say I earn 50,000 subs in a week, right? 50,000 subs in a week because I'm doing a giveaway. That's not like they're subbing because they like my gaming content, my commentary is the shit, or because I can fucking hold a 9KD while blowing some other guy. No, it's not because you have epic content. They're subscribing because you're trying. They're, they're, they're doing it at the hopes to gain more free shit. And I'm not blaming the subscribers. 
they I, everybody wants free shit but I'm just doing this video as an awareness to let you guys know why these people do it because I think it's wrong and I think the least they should do is let you guys know you guys need to be aware that people manipulate and cheat to get where they are and that's just that's life you know I'm not I'm not upset about that the whole reason why I'm doing this is you know it's a shame it's a, it's embarrassing to know that I'm part of a community that that people can think that they can get away with stuff like this unpunished and they can manipulate to get what they want and and it's basically what it comes down to is money. But I'd be lying if I said YouTube wasn't a business. We all know that we make money doing this, and I'm grateful for everything I get. I'm not trying to pull or point fingers or anything. All I'm doing is trying to show you guys what's happening. Now, originally, I saw these giveaways, and I'm like, that's a great fucking idea. You make a lot of money on top of what you're putting in. You're giving free stuff to the subscribers. That's an epic idea, man. Why didn't I think of that? It's brilliant. And then I started to think, that's a win-win. And then, I, and then I got in touch with a buddy. I, first time I ever talked to him, he's a, he's a hell of a guy. His name is Optic Predator. Many of you guys may know him for his montage, his sniping skills, his sheer sexiness. I talked to the guy, and he's like, and he gave me an example because I was I was defending one of them, and, I, and it was because I didn't know what was wrong. That's why I'm giving you guys the facts for, this, for, the, for the instance of what I'm about to explain. And he was telling me, he's like, hey, Pone, what happens if I go ahead and I upload the montage, this epic sniper montage that I've been editing and working on for six months? What if I go ahead and put this masterpiece up you know, uh, 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 it's personally a, an epic video in my mind that's probably going to earn top favorite spot when he does release it, right? That's, I'm sure a lot of us can be in agreement with that. It deserves recognition to that level. And then I started to think, and he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, that definitely deserves top favorite spot. And then he's like, well, what if somebody puts out a giveaway card for a $20 PSN card? It gets more favorites than me. And I'm like, that's a good point. That's kind of fucked up. You know, these people are earning, where they earn those positions, they earn those spots, which is the sign of the kind of the same issue with you know the the false categories that categorizing is when you put them in these categories you're also gaining exposure you're gaining money it's selfish reasoning why you're doing it but even more so is you're taking it away the opportunities for people that actually deserve that spot that haven't done it selfishly and I'm not saying their videos don't deserve to be favorited or or noticed or anything like that but you shouldn't make it a requirement so anybody that does a giveaway and the requirement is to favorite the video to enter they're only doing it for money. So now if I have opened your eyes to why these guys do that, those are the people that I refuse to follow. They're, I'm not going to subscribe to them anymore. I'm not going to support them, watch the videos, do anything for them. Because their true colors have been shown to me and it's just a disgrace in my mind. And I might get in trouble for making this video, but I had to make it known. I, I got to voice my opinion. And if I get in trouble for it, so be it. Uh, I, I refuse to let you guys be you know, held under the loop and, and being taken advantage of and not knowing what's going on. And, you know, like I said, he gave me that great example of why it's wrong. And I'm like, yeah, it's wrong. I mean, it doesn't affect me. I'm not somebody that's jealous of this. I'm never going to make the front page. I'm way too far behind. My videos get maybe a thousand likes on the, you know, I, 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 I think I produce decent content, but I know I'm not the best. I'm not the next CNN or anything like that. And I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that. And it just, it's just, it just really hurts me to know people will take everybody. They, they already don't, they already neglect and don't care about the subscribers, but even more so is they use other people and use manipulation to get where they want. And it just kind of baffles me because I'm always a person that likes to earn where I get. I don't understand why somebody can take the cheap route to get to where they are. And then they feel like they've achieved greatness. And it's just it's just baffling. I don't understand why people do it. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave it down in the comments. If you see somebody trolling a giveaway or something like that, link it to this video. People will support these guys because they, they, think they, they think they're doing good. If they don't know the facts behind these, you know, obviously, that might might not impact their judgment. But I think everybody deserves to know why people do certain things and, and deserves to know that some of their favorites and everything have manipulated to get where they are. Now, I don't mind when people do things, but I think if somebody makes mistakes, I've made mistakes. If anybody makes mistakes, they need to fess up to them. They need to be honest. Honesty is how you form trust, and, and I trust my subscribers. Half of these guys I talk to on a regular basis. I got my Twitter out there. There's so much drama lately, and I had to, I had to address this. Uh, this giveaway situation is out of hand. It's messing up things. It can mess up the future for this gaming community. If people keep doing this, these are the role models for us. These are the guys we support and we look up to. And they're leading us on like this. It's just a shame to me, guys. So I know I've gone on a rant. A lot of you guys don't like this kind of stuff. But I had to voice my opinion on this. Um, and I think that you guys deserve to know. Whether or not you still support them is up to you guys. Like I said, it's all opinion. Many people might not agree with me. Many of you guys might. But at the same time, I did this video to let you guys know what's going on. And I hope you guys appreciate that. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Actually, I one thing I want you guys to do. I want you to blow up the sub box. Not sub box, but the comment box. Let me know if you guys knew this. Let me go, let me know if you guys knew that your guys were putting stuff in the nonprofit category. If they were false categorizing to get extra attention and money. Let me know if you guys knew the real reason why people did giveaways. Now, me, for example, I do a giveaway on my other channel, on my secondary channel for art. I don't, the only requirement is you got to be a subscriber. 
subscribers, obviously. I'm going to give it away to my subscribers, not a random guy that I don't know. But I don't require favorites or anything like that. There are certain ways to do giveaways. Very rarely are they done properly like that. And because they don't get much attention like that, which is understandable, which is why more people want attention, which is why they do favorites. But like I said, I felt like you guys deserve to know this. Let me know you guys' honest opinion, uh, intentions and, and opinions about this. And feel free to link video responses. I want your guys' honest opinions. I want you to blow this up. Let me know if you guys knew about this douchebaggery that these guys are doing. And uh, your thoughts on this. I mean, has it changed your opinions on people? Have you noticed these people being selfish or what's going on? I know I'm not perfect. But like I said, I felt like I had to do this for you guys. So if you want to judge me or unsubscribe, I respect your opinion. I respect what you guys feel. And I understand in the end. I understand. And, uh, you know, I might be wrong for doing this. But at the same time, you know, sometimes stuff has to be done. So I hope you guys respect that. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Get it, guys. With my